Hello everyone and welcome back to Roommates, we're about to begin another week which we've got set up so hopefully it plays out nicely for us. Although we can never really tell because occasionally different events happen, right? Mm -hmm. And then like, for now, <laughs> <laughs> another day down, I'm almost surprised I'm still doing this stuff. Well, time to relax for now. I'm supposed to meet Memphis at the cafe. Ooh, more musical interludes? Hmm. Hopefully Isabella's on shift too. Oh, that's right. Memphis didn't get to see Isabella. I wonder what he'd think of her. Ooh. With finals almost here, it's kind of nice to just relax for a bit. Everyone's so high strung right now. Heck, if I'm honest, I'm thinking about just going straight back home and relaxing in my room on my own. Play the event. Come on, you have to. You have to. But I couldn't do that to Memphis. I don't get to hang out with him nearly as often since I've been doing all this school crap. Speak of the devil, it looks like he was waiting for me at the door. Max. You dirty bastard. I thought I was going to wait here all day. He almost did, if we didn't make the decision for him. Mm -hmm. I'll quit your whining. I came as quick as I could. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. The cafe is really hopping this afternoon as we enter. Memphis and I find a booth and take a seat as I look around to see if Isabella's on shift. Oh, hey, Max. What can I get for you? Sally, I thought you worked at the farm. Oh, I do, but Isabella said one of their regulars called out and she needed a favor, so here I am. They didn't even have any good uniforms for me, so I'm just in street clothes. Everyone has been asking about it. Uh, yeah, especially the way you're dressed. Look at that. Well, I guess you answered my next question early then. Hey, Sally. Oh, hey, Memphis. Oh, no. Sure you can't take a few minutes off? Come catch up with us? What's she gonna do? Fire you? Ha, nice try, but no. I said I'd help out, so I'm helping out. Now, what did you two want? Let me just have an espresso and a donut. Yeah, because you need to be bouncing off the walls. Whatever. Can you get me a slice of the pie and a coffee? Yeah, let me go tell Isabella. Alright, I'll let Isabella know you're here. Thanks, Sally. Hate it when she leaves, but love watching her go. Watch it, bro. You're slobbering. Sorry. He actually does look a little abashed. Uh-oh, here we go. Hey, there's my favorite customer. Hey, Isabella. Sally said you made it in. Well, not until the third date. Oh, Max. And you say I'm bad. Ha, careful, Max. I've got a hose back there with your name on it. I'll be good. Sorry it's so crowded. I wanted to chat a bit, but I guess it's nothing but work for me. Oh, it's alright. Memphis will just have to keep me company in the meantime. Or even better, let Memphis do your job, and then you can chat all you want. I don't remember signing up for that. Ha <laughs> ha, hmm, maybe once he's been trained, I do like a properly trained man. Oh, would she now? <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> Isabella chuckles as she leaves the table and goes back to waiting on the other tables. Memphis and I chat casually for a while. Every once in a while, Sally or Isabella stops by the table to drop off a refill or some food and a chat for a second. Little by little, the cafe clears out as the other patrons finish what they were doing. Finally, it's just the four of us. You think, uh, Memphis would want to go out with one of these girls? We already know he shows some interest in Sally. Yeah. What kind of combo oh. do you think they'd make? I don't know. Never again, Isabella. You're a lifesaver, Sally, honestly. You're lucky the tips were great. Keep it up, you might even match my tip someday. I just need a little extra money. I'm not trying to compete. Oh. That's because you'd lose. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do we have going on here? Cat fight. Oh, please. If I really worked it, I'd have a pile of tips. This really is turning to a competition <laughs> now. Look at this. I can tell Sally's joking, but Isabella's brow darkens. Looks like she's getting competitive. Well, it looks like we got two customers left. As I recall, we both helped them out a lot, didn't we? Yeah, what's your point? Well, Max, oh, who are you going to tip? What a choice. Oh, Lord. I'm glad you're paying for food tonight. Thanks, Dick. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess we kind of have to go with Sally since she's the one we're currently trying to uh, romance in this game. So, yeah. Plus five, 30. Hmm. Well, you both helped out a lot, and you both looked hot doing it. But I think Sally wins this round. It's still not a competition, you know. She says that, but I can tell she's still pleased with me. 
Isabella just rolls her eyes. Whatever, you still help me out and I appreciate it. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Racking up points, I see. Actually, quite literally, That's, Memphis. Yep. That's uh, yep. exactly what we're doing in this game. Shut up. I lay out the money for our two meals on the table and head out with Memphis. We may even head out our separate ways. It's about time I got out to class, I think. I grab up the last of my books and close up my room. Maybe if I... No. I don't think I can paint with my teeth. What's he doing now? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's not odd at all. Nope. Rakesh, what are you up to? Apparently what he's up to is sitting in front of a canvas, half inside of some kind of weird suit, what? holding a paintbrush in his teeth. I don't see the suit yet. I mean, this time. Ah, Max, just in time. I have been commissioned for the first time. Wow, that's great. Hey, that's great news. It doesn't explain anything, but it's still great news. Ah, yes. The art store is having a sale, and they want some posters done for their mascot. <gasps> oh, my. That is the creepiest mascot I think <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> he points to the sort of fuzzy suit. Unfortunately, I think I know where this is going. Uh, we're going to have to be in the suit, aren't we? No, I don't want to. Should it. we do it or should we skip it? What I do you think, think we should skip it. We're, we're just going to skip all the events with Rakesh. <laughs> I don't like his weird and art scenes. I don't think I want any part of his crazy art experiments. Just hang it on a corner and paint it that way, Rakesh. Hmm, that might work, but I need to see how it looks on a body. Ah, I know. Excuse me, Max. I must visit the local department store. A mannequin? Oh, see, that's rather, uh, well, stealing them might be a little bit too much. That's true. Rakesh, no stealing mannequins. It's just creepy, bro. Damn. Once more, I am stumped then. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Rakesh. I gotta get to class. You should probably do that too. Maybe you can get Dominic to help out? <laughs> Doubt it, but try. Rakesh waves me off without really paying attention to me, which is fine by me. I take off content that I've avoided something terribly embarrassing. Probably true. Probably very true indeed. <gasps> Another event. I suppose I could see what's going on tonight, but honestly, it's been a pretty long week. I think I've earned a nice night inside. I'm heading to my room when I hear Isabella humming some wordless tune. Oh, and she's all oh. decked out in her crazy gear again. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know, that's a weird outfit that I wouldn't expect of her. I peek my head in, looks like she's got some plans. Ugh. She hasn't mentioned any parties, which means she's probably going out with that bastard Chad. Probably going to take her out for a great evening of feeling his biceps. Ew. Why are you imagining that? I don't... Max, come on. I don't know what she sees in the jerk, but I guess it's not really my place to tell her who to date. Then again, I've never backed down from a challenge before. Maybe I shouldn't now? Hmm. Try to have a chat or just go with my original plan and relax for a while. Should we? Mm. I already skipped one event. I guess we can try to play out this one. Okay. Damn, babe, you're gonna fry his eyelids off if you go out like that. Isabella jumps a bit at the sound of my voice, but gives me a grin as she looks at me. Hey, hot stuff, and I don't think it's a good date unless Chad's eyebrows start to sizzle a little, you know? Well, I should probably just burn them off with, like, a lighter or something instead. <laughs> <sighs> you really think that guy can stand the heat? I bet he can't take more than a warm-up. Oh, I think he'll do fine. He's already seen me flirty drunk, so sober and hot shouldn't be too hard for him. He's been pretty stand-up so far. Please. You need a man who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a phoenix. Ha. Hey, it's not me that needs to rise again, hot stuff. Oh, oh. the burn. <laughs> the burn. Anyway, turn around. No free peeks. Oh, she's still getting dressed? I didn't know. What? Rip off. You want a show? Buy a ticket, big shot. Oh, are you selling now? Hmm. Isabel ignores that one, continuing to get dressed while I look out the door. I think Chad's gonna like this one. Does he even have that much taste? He's surprisingly discerning, actually. What does that mean? Oh, so he knows the difference between you and a football. I guess that's a step up from the usual. Oh, shut up. He's got a decent eye for what he likes. Case in point, how do I look? Ugh, she's not gonna go for me. Fine, but to ask me how she looks... Um... Well, if there's anything I know, it's just tell a girl she looks good. Don't say anything <laughs> negative or else you'll be in for a world of trouble. 
When has that ever happened to you? I've never had to do that. I, it's just good practice. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to admit, she is looking damn hot. And just because I'm feeling a little dismissed, that's no reason to be a jerk to her. Yeah, exactly. You look hot as hell, babe. Same as always. I try to sound enthusiastic. At least try to pretend for her. I still can't believe she flirts with me like this, but still goes out with another guy. She flirts with everyone, Max. <laughs> yeah, and we're kind of going for another girl too at the moment, yeah, which is- Yeah, calm down. Yeah. I'm gonna bail, alright? I don't wait for a response, just turn ahead to my room. Hey, hold up, hot stuff. Oh, she looks nervous. Hmm? Oh. I pause and turn back to Isabella. She was standing just behind me. She leans in closer, speaking to me softly. Look, I think we both know where this is going, right? Oh, real talk for a second. What's going on here? I really don't have fun with guys just for the sake of it. Moreover, I've got really good taste in guys. Okay. You may not believe it, but I do. And when it comes to guys, well, there are some guys that you have some fun with. Guys you string along and go on a few dates with. And then, there are guys you save for when you're ready to really try getting serious with someone. The ones you take home to mama. Know what I mean? Not really, babe. What? <laughs> How do you not understand that? I, I think she's saying she actually likes us, likes us. Yes. But she likes going out with other men kind of for thrills, you know? Just she's for not the... ready to settle down. Uh, yeah, exactly. The point is, good things are worth waiting for, and I am definitely a damn good thing. Oh. Even if I'm going to have some fun with a chump for a while. Um, I... Isabella cuts me off by pressing a finger against my lips, and briefly kissing the back of her finger. Just think about it. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go knock Chad's socks off. <laughs> oh, well thanks for telling me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know if I get what just happened. Isabella's gone before I can ask her. Why are you so dumb? Well, that was pretty... Strange, I wasn't exactly expecting that, but okay. It was strange, but how did he not understand? Yeah, it's kind of obvious what's going on here. I wind over to my room in a bit of a stupor and just lay down on my bed. Good things are worth waiting for, huh? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess all it really means is don't give up? I guess so. But we're also kind of already going for someone else too, so I don't really know what to make of this. <laughs> this might lead to some drama later on, depending on how this game is shaped. So. Oh no, it's Mass Effect all <laughs> over again. I guess, look, we have 100% energy already. Damn. Because of all these events we've been skipping out on. Oh well. Yeah, we haven't gotten any more spontaneous or active. Yeah, oh well. You've kind of missed all our chances to go out, but whatever. Oh, oh, oh. I think my professor might hate me. I know he didn't cover those damn questions during his lectures. I just want to head up to my room and just jam for a bit. Jerk. Is this Anne? Hey guys, I'm home. Anybody else have a terrible- ah! No sooner have I opened my mouth than a little sucker dart has attached itself to my forehead. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> a random. Reach for the sky, Max. You got no hope of defeating the rowdy bunch. Your chances are slimmer than finding an open spot on the commuter train to Bihar. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but yeah. My best shot. What he said. Now drop those books, sucker. Isabella and Rakesh are standing in the dining area, holding dart blasters leveled at <laughs> right at me. <laughs> wow. Suddenly a bunch of darts bloom on the wall behind Isabella, who goes diving behind the common room couch. Oh no you don't. You rowdy bunch have had the run of this place for far too long. Now it's time for the Serene Gang to put you in your place. Serene Gang? Yeah. Well what is shock who's on the Serene Gang? <laughs> I know. <laughs> And apparently Anne and Sally were upstairs, their guns point at me, and the other two. Well, Rakesh seems more serene with his, like, artsiness. Like, he's just, like, weird he's just and artsy. passive. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think he was rowdy. I mean, he does get into trouble, but it's mostly because he seems aloof. Yeah. But maybe he's doing intentionally and he's just acting like he's aloof. I don't know. Mm. He could surprise us there. Both sides look at me somewhat expectantly. I suppose we're supposed to pick a side, and since we have more than enough energy, we can go for <laughs> this, I guess. Ladies, ladies, there's more than enough of me to go around. You don't have to shoot each other, and Rakesh. That's true. I guess we could just shoot you. Oh no. I go diving for cover as a bunch more darts suddenly appear in the front door where my head just was. Wait, wait, I'm unarmed. That just makes you easier to shoot, hot stuff. I take a quick look at my options and see that both Rakesh and Anne are dual wielding guns. Unless one of you guys wants to give up your spare gun for me. Hmm. I don't know. Isabella said I was only a spray of doves away from being my own John Woo movie. 
And I still haven't managed to jump out shooting two guns yet. I think I can get it right this time. No, no, I think it's a good idea. Come join our side of the fight, kid. We'll treat you real nice. Oh, no. Isabella winks at me, even though she's still got a gun pointed at me. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Come join our side, Max. We're the side that's right. We'll finally be able to tame this Wild West dormitory. No, no, what do you think? Never. Our side has goodies. <laughs> no, we're the goodies. Their side has baddies. Everyone uh... groans. You're not doing yourself any favors, Sally. <laughs> Still, I should probably pick soon. Their trigger fingers are looking mighty itchy. What do you say? Well, we have to join the Serena gang. Yeah, for Sally. For Sally, I guess. Right. But All right. Max is totally rowdy. He is the rowdy one. Come on. He he doesn't have the serenity now. He and Rakesh should, should switch. Oh, and Anne as no. well. Oh, wow. Stop it, Anne. You have Go a lot away. of points with her as well. I, I forgot about it. that. Well, after much consideration, I'm afraid the Serene gang has a higher ratio of ladies to dudes. True. <laughs> which true. makes them the obvious choice. Just Traitor. look at the maths here. Isabella immediately begins firing at me, with backup from Rakesh. Luckily, the Serene gang's got my back and they begin to return fire. Max, here you go. It's like a scene out of a movie. She tosses the gun and it's like it floats in slow motion to my leaping hand. I turn around and bring it to bear on the rowdy gang, who are retreating to the kitchen. Pop, pop, pop. Rakesh takes one to the face and one to the knee. You got an arrow to the knee. <laughs> yeah, they're on the run now. Get up, Max. We got them cornered. It is the cornered rat that fights the hardest. Shut up, Rakesh. <laughs> 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 yeah, come and get us if you think you can. Together, the Serene gang sneaks up to the kitchen door. We all look at each other and nod, ready to burst through the door. On three, ready? One, two... Three. Three. Oh no! It's a surprise attack! Isabella and Rakesh come bursting out before we have a chance to ready ourselves. Not without casualties, but the two make a fighting charge through our defenses. Foul trick! <laughs> Chasing after our enemies, the fight rages through the house for the next few hours. Hours? Finally, everyone collapses in the common room, laughing. Uh oh. I'm holy hell! What the hell just happened in here? You did this, didn't you, Max? Oh Me! Oh Why God. are we the ones that get blamed first? I should kick you out of the dorm for this. No, I don't even care who started this. Get to cleaning. What are you, 12? Clean this place up. I mean, right... No, ah. <laughs> Dominic's face is suddenly covered in darts, and a lot of us are running for our rooms. Totally worth it. Look at how small his pouty face was. Aw, poor Dommy. Okay, any more events? This has been quite the eventful week for once. It has. I think the last two were a little bit quiet, but this one, there's been a, quite a burst of activity going on. Let's see, I think it's just rounding out, and that's it. Okay, so we finished with 95% energy, so that's pretty good, pretty efficient. We have 90 in both spontaneous and active. That's good, so it went up a bit too, even if we missed a few events. An interesting week. We got ourselves into trouble once again with Dominic, <laughs> but hey, we made it out alive somehow. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you next time. Bye.